Hello, I'm Olivia Chappell and I'm the Chair of the Trustees of Horatio's Garden Charity and we are proud beneficiaries of the National Garden Scheme. Horatio's Garden is a national charity and we create and care for beautifully designed gardens right in the heart of NHS spinal injury centres for people who've been paralysed and are facing long stays in hospital. More than ever before, through this pandemic, our gardens have been vital for patients as a place to get away from the clinical environment, to seek solace amongst the planting, and most importantly, find some hope for the future. I'm very pleased to be able to take you now on a virtual tour of Horatio's Garden, Stoke Mandeville, led by our wonderful head gardener, Jackie martin -Loff. I hope you enjoy the tour and thank you so much for your support. Welcome to Horatio's Garden here at the National Smile Injury Centre at Stoke Mandeville Hospital. The garden here uh, was designed by Joe Swift and as you can see has been created not only a very beautiful garden but and a very accessible garden for patients to come directly off the double doors at the end of the wards of the spinal unit and out into the garden. It's an area that encourages patients to be independent. It's the ground floor is the rehabilitation ward, so patients are encouraged to be independent and to come out alone. This beautiful curved bench leads into our water feature. The curved wall behind the water feature bounces back the sounds of this constant movement of the water and the rustling of the iris siberica planted directly in front of the wall. The garden's planted with lots of trees. We've got um, winter flowering, cherry and apple trees and several ornamental pear, the prunus trees. Along our hidden mist fence, we've got lots of lovely scented Akebia quinata chocolate vine, as well as the jasmine, Trachea burnum. Amongst our planting, because it's quite a windy garden, are lots of grasses, so there's always movement, there's always something to watch or hear. This particular tree is a Prunus Machiae, and not only does it have this beautiful white blossom with fluffy white blooms, it also has a lovely bark, lovely orangey um, russet colour that you can put oil on and really enhance it even more. The curved wall at this larger seating area end of the garden has been planted above with sarcococca which have the most magnificent scent. Our garden room here is an area we encourage patients to have a bit of independence again. You can see it's all fully accessible for patients to come in and make themselves a cup of tea or coffee or have a piece of cake that's made by one of our magnificent team of volunteers. A lovely space to use all year round. This end of the garden is again a slightly windy area. You've just seen the windy um, burgundy lily flowering tulips. Um, this is also um, a seating area down here, a larger area where we can put marquees um, to hold some of our fundraising events. And um, the corner door here is an automated door into the garden where patients that are high dependency patients on the first floor can come down with staff or family members in their beds. Our glass house is a really popular place and we do lots of garden therapy there with patients as part of their rehabilitation. Our planters this year, the display has been absolutely magnificent. The tulip is a multi-flowering stem, tulip alibi, and it has been underplanted with, initially we had iris reticulata, which you can see the um, green stems are still there, but it's been underplanted with the violas peach jump up. Peach jump up and Callisto denim were the two varieties planted here. It really is a very beautiful place for anyone entering the garden. The healing powers of garden is really captured in Horatio's garden here at Stoke Mandeville. 